Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Short Attention Span webinar. Hey Kelly, what do you say we wrap this puppy up? Let's do it. Let's bring it home, brother. Are you ready? Yeah. You over there, are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> no, I think you have to look... Am I that way? That way. That's you're... my bad side. Look at how pointy that face is. I have such a pointy face. You're on my left, so you've okay. got to look to your right. I okay. can't figure it out. Ready Bunch. Ready? One, two, three, go. Okay. That worked. So anyway, gang, listen, we, we're loopy. It, it's the heat. Well, here's the fourth, uh, the fourth answer to the question, why aren't you selling more? So, so far we have talked about call quality. We've talked about target market. We've talked about a prospecting process. And this one, Kelly, is? Oh, my God. I knew you were going to put me on the spot like that. Diligence. Diligence, yes. Diligence and pleasant persistency. Last week we talked about this process. We said you've got to have a process. You've got to have a process. Step one, step two. The steps in the process are less important. What matters is the diligence with which you apply the process. There is no such thing as a diligent failure. Kelly, agree? I do. Actually, I was just, I was just um, sorting through all my business books when I was moving and um, I'm setting up. I have all my nonfiction and my business books in my office. And I found a great book called Never, Never Wrestle with a Pig. Have you heard about this one? No. I think it's right here. Shoot, where is it? I thought it was right here. Anyway, one of he's got it's like ninety principles for your career and your life, and it's written by a guy who's like a big shot um, sports agent, Mark McGrath or something like that. And um, one of them is it talks about how there's you have to make your own luck. Like there really right. isn't any such thing as being a lucky person. That lucky people actually work hard. And the one thing he talked about is diligence and persistence. So this is we're not the first people to come up with this concept. It really is about applying. Your will. You know, it's really about just saying, I am going to put my head down and I'm going to work hard. Doesn't it, you don't have to put in 12 hour days. We're not saying that, but we're saying be present at work from the time you start until the time you go home and be able to end every day going like, I brought it today. I really, really applied myself. I didn't dick around on Facebook for two hours. I didn't talk to my friends for two hours at the water cooler. I worked hard. Yeah. I was diligent. Yeah. There, there's nothing like it. I mean, you know, work ethic is huge. Uh, the, the sales reps, the ones that are doing well, they're, they might, doesn't necessarily mean that they're in at six in the morning and they're out at eight o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. But the time that they're working, they're they're bringing it. Yeah, you know, they're bringing it. They're prepared. They've got great time management. Uh, they're focused. And hell, I was I coached somebody once who sold nine million dollars a year, and she worked about thirty-two hours a week. Yeah, you know, she lived. She had a house up on a Napa, right up on the hill. She had a horse. It was phenomenal. But right. she was incredibly efficient, and she put in her time to get there. Yeah. Believe me. Diligence. I was going to say, you definitely earn that. That's not something that happens your first no. year. No. You earn that over time. No, no. She had a, she had a very interesting company. It was, a, it was a fruit company, so to speak. So, um, Think about that, Kelly. Out of California, fruit company? Oh, wine? Apple. Got it. There you go. Oh, there oh, you yeah, go. Yeah, that one. So she's wicked smart over there, that one. Um, I was so, like, are they growing weed? What are you no. talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's Colorado and Washington oh, and yeah. 11 okay. more states soon. So the deal is then you've got to put in the effort. You know, you've got to have a plan. You've got to pick a number. You've got to hit that number constantly, constantly, constantly hit that number. There is no substitute for diligence. Uh, I have trained thousands of salespeople and selling owners. Kelly has done the same thing over the years. And, you know, we, we deal with people sometimes who don't have the natural ability. What they have is drive. You know, they've got the diligence because maybe like me, they've got two kids in college or they're just wound that way or they've just had a baby or they just bought a house. You know, they'd say the best thing to happen to a, a manager is when the sales rep buys a house. Yeah. Because now he and, she... and has a pregnant wife. But, yeah, that's, yeah a little bit, right? that's a little bit sexist. But I think the piece, too, that we're kind of – haven't specifically said right head on is the accountability piece um, because mm. typically most of us got started in sales organizations where we had a sales manager and we had to file some sort of report every week to talk about our activity and then you because you say you can manage to the activity or you can manage the results mm. but there are some probably a lot of you out there that don't necessarily have that kind of looming manager um, or any kind of 
piece where you have to report in, and this is not a plug for the sales challenge, even though it kind of is, but you do need some sort of accountability, even if it's only to yourself, to commit to yourself, look yourself in the mirror and say, I'm going to make seven calls a day, Mm -hmm. and then reassess that at the end of every week and put a reward system in place for yourself. I did it. I get whatever. But it's, you know, the diligence and the accountability kind of come hand in hand. Well, I'll tell you what, Kelly, today this, uh, this video is going to be released on September 11th. Uh, on Monday, I'll be in Chicago at Graph Expo. I'll be giving a presentation called Zen and the Art of Sales Maintenance. And it's about a lot of the things that you're talking about right now. It's about being a self-starter and being driven. And how do you stay motivated? How do you get up and do it every single day and maintain that level of quality? So that's where I will be on Monday. So, awesome. Thank you again, Kelly. Thanks, Bill. And we'll talk to you all on the next Short Attention Span webinar. And once again, come see, see us you in, in Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. I'll be flying out tonight. I'll be bringing my daughter, Emma. I'll be having some to fun. meet her. I know. It's going to be a hoot. All right, gang. So long. Take care. We'll see you in Chicago. And if not, we'll see you in the next Short Attention Span webinar. Bye.